Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'm really excited to share an important update with you. Over the past few months, we have been working closely with Hugging Face to enhance Lerabot, a platform for robotic machine learning with full support for our Aloha kids. This collaboration opens up so many new possibilities, allowing you to use Aloha kids seamlessly with the Lerabot platform. Let's dive into how this can change the way you approach robotic machine learning. First, let's talk about what Lerabot brings to the table. It's a powerful pipeline for data collection, training, and evaluation all in one place. With this collaboration, you can now easily collect data from the Aloha kits or other robots, upload it to Hugging Face, and retrieve it for model training. This makes the process incredibly streamlined and efficient. One of the standout features of this collaboration is the use of Parkwit format for storing datasets. Parkwit is highly optimized for compression, making it perfect for storing large datasets in the cloud. You can easily upload your datasets to Hugging Face Hub and download them for future use. If your data is in another data format like HDF5, don't worry. Lerabot provides easy conversion tools so that you can get your data ready for the cloud in no time. Lerabot is also hardware agnostic, meaning you can add new robots or environments just by updating the configuration files. Aloha kits are fully supported, but you are not limited to just one setup. New robot configurations can be added quickly and easily. When it comes to model training, Lerabot supports various policies like ACT, and you can even come up with new training strategies by tweaking configuration settings. From batch sizes to learning rates, the flexibility is endless. What, what's even cooler is that after you have trained your models, you can record evaluation episodes and store them as new datasets. This makes it possible to continue refining your models using their own performance data to improve future training. If you're looking to speed up your research, you can access pre-trained models from Hugging Face and avoid the hassle of recreating experiments from scratch. This is a huge time saver, especially if you want to test baseline models before diving into your own work. And once you have trained your own models, don't forget that you can contribute back to the community by uploading them to the Hugging Face Hub. Sharing your models helps the community grow and it's a great way to contribute to the field of robotics. Lerobot also includes a fantastic visualization tool that lets you analyze datasets before training. This way, you can make sure that the datasets you have collected are correct and avoid issues down the line. Now let's talk about some important resources that will help you get started. We have put together a detailed documentation to guide you through the integration of Aloha Kits with Lerobot. It's all available right now at docs.trossandrobotics.com. We have also set up some exciting demos that showcase what Lerobot can do with the Aloha Kits. Check them out right now to see the example. But that's not all. Soon, we'll be launching a full series of tutorial videos where we'll be covering data collection, training, and evaluation using the Lerobot platform. Lastly, if you want to try this yourself, head over to our latest article where you can download the datasets, pre-trained models, and even the 3D files to recreate these experiments. We have made it super easy for you to follow along. And of course, we'd love for you to contribute back to the community by sharing your own datasets. Head over to the Trostin Robotics community on Hugging Face and join us in building the future of robotics together. That's it for today's update. We are so excited to see what you can create with Lerobot and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, demos and insights coming soon. This collaboration with Hugging Face is just the beginning and we can't wait to see where it takes us.